Appalachian Mountain Club volunteers and staff assist with an average of nearly 50 backcountry search and rescue operations every year. AMC collaborates with New Hampshire Fish and Game, the U.S. Forest Service, and a number of volunteer organizations. This partnership between the public and private sectors provides a critical service for the millions of backcountry visitors who flock to New Hampshire every year. For more than a century, the organization's presence in the White Mountains has made rescues possible. AMC hut crews are often the first responders in a process that can take several hours. The AMC has a lot of resources at their disposal. We have our 50 hut crew members in the backcountry who can volunteer as well as our probably 20 to 30 people in the front country that are on our volunteer team as well. Because we know it might be necessary for some of our hut crew to be responding to these search and rescues on a volunteer basis, we like to have them prepared with wilderness first aid. I've been coming to the hut since I was three years old, so I was really excited to get in uh, and be a part of the hut crew. And what I had seen coming to the huts was you know, young, me young men and women cooking dinner, serving guests, uh, and the search and rescue aspect wasn't really on my radar. Uh, so coming in, it was definitely a surprise to go out on my first search and rescue and, and be helping people in the backcountry. On his first search and rescue operation, James Wrigley assisted a woman with an injured ankle. Their one-and-a-half-mile hike from Lakes of the Clouds Hut to the summit of Mount Washington took nearly five hours. Within the time of the first call to the time of arriving on scene, it can be anywhere from a half an hour to an hour and a half. And if we need to send in more people to go and carry that person out, those people are going to be coming from all over the White Mountain region, joining at the trailhead and hiking up. For a carryout, you're going to want 18 to 24 people. You're going to have six people on the litter at each time, and it's pretty tiring to be not only moving over terrain that generally people find challenging, but also be carrying someone. In the most severe circumstances, whether because of a remote location or a severe injury, a helicopter can be called in to evacuate the patient. AMC promotes the protection, enjoyment, and understanding of the outdoors. That mission includes educational programs and publications that reduce the demand for search and rescue operations. But even with those efforts, backcountry visitors sometimes need help. When the huts manager would call you on the radio, my, my stomach would always be in my throat. You know? And now that I've had a lot more experience with them, I see in some ways uh, it's, it's just a bunch of people who know the mountains well going up and helping someone who hasn't really fared well that day. Yeah. 